Flare is an Internet of Things user experience led project. Currently, there are more connected devices than humans on the planet, and in the future, our workplaces, homes, and public spaces will become increasingly filled with connected objects vying for our attention. We need a simple and frictionless way of interacting with these connected devices. We think the smartwatch is an ideal device. It is mobile, very quick to access, and always on. So lately, we've been hearing a lot of uh, news in the uh, augmented reality space, uh, new exciting uh, products from you know, the likes of Microsoft with HoloLens, uh, Google Glass, uh, Facebook even. And really, these uh, companies, they're trying to solve much of the same problem, which is how can I layer, intuitively layer, a lot of relevant information uh, over my sphere of uh, interaction. And so perhaps a simple way to think of Flair is as a poor man's augmented reality uh, scheme. And I mean that in a, in a good way, whereas instead of uh, purchasing and wearing a sometimes awkward uh, augmented reality helmet or anything of that sort, uh, what we seek is the simplicity of wearables uh, and the uh, intimacy that they can bring into achieving uh, much of the same thing. So how does Flare work? Imagine that you're at a bus stop and you want to know when the next bus is. The bus stop is represented by what we call a fin. The fin is locked to the bus stop's location. Move around and the fin will still point to the bus stop, even if you're upside down. We can also pull this fin into the watch and it will tell us when the next bus arrives. Press on this bus and you will be given actions associated with the bus. Buy a ticket, view the whole bus schedule, more information, etc. In this instance, we select the bus schedule. However, there is too much information for such a small screen, so it opens it on your phone. This is key to Flair. We use the watch for first point of contact interactions, then use richer devices that we call reflectors to carry on any further interactions. So this is the Flare proof of concept demo. We have a Bluetooth iBeacon perimeter that we're defining with four iBeacons. It defines a Bluetooth grid and I've got a smartwatch which is running an application and it understands where I'm stood within that grid. We also have iPads which are representing real world physical objects. So we've got yellow ball there, red ball there, and the green ball just out of shot. Over my shoulder, you can see a um, big screen, and it's showing exactly what I'm seeing on the application that's running on my watch. So you can see I've got colored fins, which are pointing directly at the different objects. So if I face the red ball, the red fin comes to the top. If I face the green ball, the green fin comes to the top. If I face the yellow ball, the yellow fin comes to the top. So it understands where the objects are in relation to me in this grid. So coloured balls are slightly abstract, so we've applied the theory to a retail furniture environment. You can see we've got chairs and sofas in this environment. So the iPads now represent these. This is representing the sofa. So if I take my watch up close to the sofa, I can get quick, high-level information about it, such as what it's called, how much it costs, kind of like a real-world hover. If I want more information, I can actually pull the fin in. I can see now that it comes in lots of different colours. If the retail store has an interactive screen, I can then push this information to that screen and use the watch to control it. So I'm using this screen as a reflector. I quite like the look of the yellow one. So if I press on that, I get the actions associated with that sofa. I can get more information, I can buy it, I could share it. In this instance, I'm gonna to choose to buy it. So now I just need to go down to collect it. So up until now, we've only been concerned with exploring connected objects. But now I've added that sofa to my digital shopping list. I'm down in the warehouse and I'm surrounded by hundreds of packages. I'm only concerned with one, my sofa. So now I only see one fin and that fin is pointing at the box behind me. And we're also using smart lighting and smart signage to guide me to the object that I want. So you can see, using the Flare interaction model, we're able to explore, interact with, and be guided to smart objects. Now for a brief overview on technology. How do we understand the user's location? 
Well, for the flare proof of concept, we defined a perimeter of Bluetooth eye beacons. These allow the flare app to understand the distance of the watch from each of the beacons, thus allowing us to understand the user's location within this grid and enabling accurate real-time updates as the user moves around within the grid. If we also have beacons attached to things, this only increases our location accuracy. At this point in time, uh, Flare is uh, quite uh, unique. There's uh, really nothing quite like it uh, out there. So whatever it is that uh, you're trying uh, to do, uh, if it involves uh, users interacting with, uh, you know, devices around them, whether it's a connected thermostat, uh, getting some pricing information of products at uh, retail, unlocking a door, uh, you know, uh, healthcare, automotive, transportation, manufacturing, whatever uh, it may be, uh, we hope that it's uh, probably the case that Flair can help you uh, do it in a much more uh, intuitive, efficient, fun way. Uh, and so, uh, Flare, uh, Internet of Everything, take it, uh, wear it, and uh, knock yourself out.